Use this passing concept to go ahead and get easy touchdowns in the back of the end zone. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, we're going to talk about another red zone play that we can go ahead and utilize uh, in the red zone to go ahead and attack your opponent on the left-hand side. Uh, previously, I showed you the Z option and how you could attack your opponent in three different areas of the field on the right-hand side. Now we're going to go ahead and set our opponent up so we can attack them on the left-hand. Now, uh, the formation we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the bunch ace, um, and in particular, the play we're going to look at is drive. Now, there's different variations of drive, so you can actually go ahead uh, and use the same play, drive, out of different variations of the bunch set. I know the Steelers have a drive play that's a slightly, slightly different, but uh, the concepts that you're going to be utilizing to get uh, touchdowns with is going to be uh, definitely this. But right now, you can find this in Ravens, uh, Vikings, Bills, Patriots, uh, Cowboys, Giants, Chiefs, with Seahawks, West Coast Playbook, and every other playbook really has, uh, if it has a bunch set out of single back, you should be able to go ahead and find this. All right, so the key to this particular play um, is basically the alignment of the left-hand side, uh, and it open things. It will open things up dramatically for you against like cover two defenses. So we're going to go and pick this play, and there's some, something I want to show you basically against cover two. All right, so uh, with drive, you have uh, many different variations. We're going to throw this about five yards out. Some people will have an alignment where the wide receiver on the left-hand side is further out. You can always just slide him in uh, to get this concept to work with other variations of drive. Now, what I like about drive is that Paul's route uh, is basically on a uh, little drag route, and then you get a backside route uh, with... Um, my, actually, Macrief is on a, on a, on a uh, drag route, and then you got Paul on an in route. And that allows you to go in and attack your opponent off the left-hand side, uh, or actually off to the right-hand side. And, but this, pro, this way we're going to set this up is we're going to be able to hit uh, both uh, back corners of the, of the end zone against our opponent. Now, to set this play up, basically we're going to go ahead and do a hook route. And you do so by uh, uh, clicking onto your, your, your man, pulling down a left stick, and you get a hook route. Now, the key to this play too, and you have to be conscious of it, is that you need to be able to do a wheel route uh, with the, uh, with your running back route. So you're going to go ahead and select your running back and flip up on the right stick, and it'll do a running back route. Now, if you're you're a little bit too far off the head at uh, the edge, so let's go ahead and respot the ball. If you're on the left side of the hash or left side of the field, you're not going to be able to get that animation. It's not going to allow you to do that. So. So when you uh, go ahead and try to do a wheel route, it's going to go off on the right side, and that's not going to work for you. So we want to make sure that uh, we, we can move this ball off to this side of the field, off to the right side of the edge. Uh, that's going to get you uh, probably just a little bit better setup. So we'll set the play up like this, and really what we're going to be doing is looking at Cole. And a lot of times what happens is it gets covered two shells, he's going to get wide open. So we'll, we'll get a completion here. So against cover two, he's going to be wide open, and you just high pass lead the ball, and he actually is going to get past the coverage right there, and you get an easy completion. The better the receiver you have, the more consistent, especially with a good quarterback, but you can actually get an easy completion, and you can pretty much use this with a majority of the coverages out there. Now hook up your, running, your wide receiver and put your running back on a wheel route, and what it does is it pulls the coverages down, you do a high pass lead, and the guy will actually get wide open. Now, why I like to do drive with this this passing concept because you can pretty much do this uh, uh, with any sh like uh, single back bunch type set. Is you also have got this crosser on the back end side that you can check down to. So if your opponent starts reading and starts flowing over there and try to cover it up, you got this backside guy. How does this work against cover three? Well, uh, it's a little bit different because against cover three, you might not get that separation, but a lot of times you will. But with a buzz zone, that will actually take that away. So now what you want to do is you want to look to this crossing run on the back side, just like the cover two. What about cover four? Well, that hitch route generally is going to get an opportunity to get a play if you, if you see a defender that falls down. But you should be looking uh, towards the, the crossing routes underneath. 
and that will give you another opportunity to hit your opponent with that route right there. So uh, this is another way to attack your opponent off the left-hand side. So if you hit him with uh, the Z option off the right, uh, he's going to have a hard time with it. So guys, if you like these tips and these red zone tips, make sure you hit the, hit the uh, smash that, that like button. Once again, for my subscribers, thank you for your support. My patrons, thank you for your support. Until next time.